All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's Tragic Life here uh, with Pokemon Yellow. I finally uh, got an Abra in a position to catch. I'm going to try to catch it for you guys right here, but I saved it just in case. Um, in order for me to be able to be able to even do this, I had to put him to sleep. Because as soon as he sees you, he disappears. So he, he was a pain in the butt to catch. Um, but once he was asleep, I hit him with... I think I hit him with... I might have hit him with confusion, and it, and it did kill him. So, let's see if I can catch him. If not, don't worry. I got this. Uno, dos, tres. All right, we got him. Good. Yeah, he was a pain. He's, he's one of the hardest ones to catch so far. Um, I mean, he's literally been a pain in my butt. Uh, but I got him. So, let's continue forward. Sleeps 18 hours a day. If it senses danger, it will teleport itself to safety even as it sleeps. Yeah, like I said, pain in the butt. So, um, I've also leveled up my characters and I brought out my grass characters because they're going to be really, really nice in the next dungeon. So, I'll meet you um, where I am and I'll show you what I've done. So, until I'll see you guys in a second. All right, welcome back. Um, I'm not sure what happened here, but this is my party for the moment. Um, Bulbasaur, Bellis Bellisprout, Oddish are the main characters here. Because we're going to go ahead and tackle the um, Cerulean Gym. Uh, I leveled them all up, but I used this gentleman here. I would leave my one of them with him and then go level the others up and come back. And he would generally be leveled up close. Um, I probably spent about $800 in there. Uh, but it's all worth it. So the Cerulean Gym is supposed to be a pretty good challenge here. Um, it's all water, from my understanding. Um, which is why we're using plant, because apparently plant is very strong against water. Um, electricity, I think, is also strong against water. But again, water, I wouldn't use uh, Pikachu because... Water is also strong against electricity, and you have no defense. So just go ahead and level up your uh, plant-based guys, and we're going to go ahead and fight all of these guys. Splash, I'm first up. Let's do it. Okay. So apparently the trainer of this one is, is really hard because she's got a fully leveled up or well a uh, fully evolution evolu evolutioned Pokemon I know what I'm saying here um, so one thing that I like hear is let's see how much damage this does all right we're good so before you attack with Bulbasaur go ahead and use your seed uh, because it, it it'll give you a really good position to get your life back Like that. that. That's the leech seed giving you life, which is really nice because then you can just go ahead and whoop them. I'm going to go ahead and tackle because I want to save that whip for the uh, boss if possible. See, we can take our time here because she's going to take two life for me and we're going to take two back so we're just going to play a game of trade <laughs> now watch down to 35 and then we're going to go back up to 37 all right yes Am I going to learn anything new? No. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Bulbasaur out. And we're gonna, we got a Shelter. I think I know what that is. I think I watched enough Pokemon to know what it is. Close enough. So again, Leech Seed. I also didn't stop at the... Uh... Huh, I'll have to look into that. 
Okay, this guy hurts a little bit. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna use Blind Whip against him. Because he actually hurts. That should do some good damage. Yes. Back to tackle. That should do it. Goodbye. <laughs> Bulbasaur is level 17, which means we're going to go ahead and switch. That can't be. It is. You got beat. You got whooped. Bulbasaur is evolving. Well, I wasn't ready for that. Ooh. Well. What do we got? Ivysaur. Ivysaur? Cool. That probably means he's stronger. I wasn't expecting that. Alright. So, let me go ahead and do something real quick. We're going to go ahead and switch. You guys know how I do this. If you've been watching, I'm the same in every video. Alright, we're going to use Bellsprout. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. I'm not touching that. I'm going to leave that alone. Alright, she wants to fight. She has one Pokemon. It's a Goldeen. Level 19, which is a little worrisome. Um, but, I'm going to wrap her. Okay, that hurt. Oh, that doesn't do a lot of damage. This might turn into a fight, guys. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, that peck hurts. See, her hits hard. Hard enough to kill me with us two hits. Oh, right. Well, we're going to bring out Onish. This already means my plans are going to slightly change for this. So I've got Absorb with her. With Oddish, uh, not the greatest move, but um, depending on the bad guy, it can be really good. Oh, that was really nice. Ooh, that was actually really good. Okay. Well, I'm going to win this fight. And then I'm going to go heal up and come back. It's super effective. Goldine is gone. I didn't level up. That's crazy. Okay. You overwhelm me. Okay, so before I go forward, I'm going to go ahead and run back to the shop, which is just right here. Because now we got a real fight. Um... As you saw, it's Misty. Her Pokemons are 18 to 21. Um, the only major difference between this version and Red and Blue is that the second battle has Harden. Which is... Did, did, did I do it? Wasn't paying attention. I did not. Come on. Sorry, guys. I was reading ahead. Yeah, so her second uh, Pokemon has Harden. Which is something that it does it does not it does not have the ability to use in red and blue. I know what I'm talking. I know what I'm saying. I'm just having a hard time saying it. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm a little surprised that Bellsprout didn't level up. Oh well. Let's hope we're strong enough here. I'm and I. Won't. I wish there was a way to move more than one at a, at a time, but whatever. Alright, let's go fight Misty. She also, she has a, uh, the, uh, 
25% chance to use an X Defend with her active Pokemon. She can only use one per Pokemon though, so there is that. Okay, so Ivy, Ivasaur is the best answer for the second fight. That's good to know. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? Don't talk to me nicely before you try to beat me up. Are you actually watching it on... I thought it was on TV. I'm stupid. All right, first fight is Staryu. Staryu? Something like that. I, I'm going to butcher these names, guys. Just heads up. I'm going to hit you with some... That wasn't too bad. Okay. Now smack her. Hit her with the whip. All right. I'm going to do it again. Because why not? There's the X Defend. Yep. That should do it. Except for the Defend. Is that going to help? Nope. Goodbye. It's super effective, but here comes the real fight. A Starmie. I'm gonna leave Ivy out there. Yeah, that thing looks strong. I'm gonna use a leech seed. I'm probably gonna pay. Oh, it's hardened. That's gonna suck. Okay. I can survive that. Now it depends on how much damage I can do. Ah, not too bad. I'm gonna win this. That's good to know. Oh, really? Another X Defend? So she has a 1 4 chance of using it on. And I apparently am really lucky because she used it on me twice. And it, you could tell. It's time to end this, though. Right, and there we go. Misty is done. We just beats the. Oh wow, that's a lot of experience. Sheesh. We beat Misty. I can't believe I lost. All right. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. And I got a lot of money for it. The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 of Bay. That includes even outsiders. There's more you can now use. There's more. You can now use cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. TM11, which is Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is really, really good. Um, it has a move with 33.2% chance of decreasing the target speed as well. Um, it does a lot of damage. Um, it won't be great forever um, if you use it. It's really good against rocks. Okay, so it uh, looks like Raticate and Persian cannot learn any better water type moves, so it's a good place to give them. All right, so there we go. I have no idea who I'm going to use it. Use it on an aquatic. I don't know who I'm going to be able to. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save. Um, I think I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to keep my Pokemon video short. Um, I don't really have a reason why other than that feels like a good idea. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, all right. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and save. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.